It's the end of the world and you have to charge your Tesla to get to the bread lines. Well, how do you charge your Tesla when there's no electricity? Well, we have a solution for you. You can actually charge your car with a generator, but what size do you need of a generator to charge your Tesla? Depends on how fast you want to charge your car. It can be the small one there, the big one there. Bigger is going to be better in this case. Not always, but in this case, it's going to be better. Smaller one will charge at a rate around 20 amps at 240. The bigger one's about 30 amps at 240. 7.6 kilowatts versus uh, 5.2 kilowatts. Will the small one, the smaller one be more fuel friendly, I guess? Uh, the bigger tends to be a little more fuel friendly just because it can sit there and actually run in the constant RPM. But of course it will eat more fuel, but it will give you more power. The key thing in this, if you want to charge your electric car is you need an inverter generator. You can't get the Costco special, it's uh, $6.99. Those aren't inverter generators. You gotta get the more expensive one. It will actually um, give you a pure sine wave is what you want from these. Otherwise, your car will not be happy trying to charge with anything else but an inverter generator. I see. All right, in a test though, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your amp started on the lowest and then you can bring them up either in the car or on the app. You go to charging. So we got 48 amps. We don't want that because that will far exceed what the small generator is capable of. So we'll start it at five, and then we'll just ramp it up from there. Green light means good. Right now we're at two miles an hour. Let's kick it up a notch. Look at that. What's it at now? In a second. That's a 10 amps. Six miles an hour. Max is what? 5.2. 5.2 for this generator right here. Yeah. There we go, about 14, 15 miles an hour on the small one. So what happens if you exceed it? Can you exceed it? Yeah, if I try to ask for too much, I'll probably kick itself off. See, we're at 5.5 right now, that's way too high for it. 18 miles an hour. Cuts itself off if you exceed it. Yeah, see, it, it, it's flashing. Well, you saw it was flashing right there. It says it's too much. They called Uncle and said no more. Yeah, we're over the boat. We're over the boat. It shut. It did exactly what it should. It shut itself of the extra. So, 15, 16 miles an hour or an hour charge rate on this small one for this car. All right. So this is the big one. This is the. Uh, 7.6 kilowatts, I guess you said on uh, on gas, and 7.2 on uh, propane. And we're gonna show you both here. The uh, generators here, this is the one I chose. I liked it, uh, the inverter generators. This was a normal cost one, uh, about $2,300, somewhere around there. But what I really liked about it is it came with this plug. And this is a very common plug. It's a uh, 1450 plug. And this one comes with it, so no adapters. You can plug it right in. A lot of houses use it. A lot, Just about every electric car comes with this adapter, or you can easily get this adapter. So this is why I went with this one. Plus, as I said, I use this as my home uh, backup generator. So plug my 1450 in, and I plug it into my outlet on my powered side of the house if we ever lost power. And we can go from there to uh, keep the house going. Okay, so this one, okay, link is in the, in the description down below, guys, where we got these. This one is how much? About $2,300, $2,400, somewhere around there. And the smaller one? It's about $1,300, $1,400, somewhere around there. And again, you gotta have an inverter generator, just like it says right there in the middle. All right, so it's white, ready to plug in. Okay. So we'll see what the bigger one will be.
see what it does to the Chevy Volt. See if we can arc weld this thing to the to the ground. And likes that. Okay, it's charging. That's even slower. 4 a.m. It said 3:30 a.m. before. Hold on. Don't yell at me. One kilowatt. So it's doing one kilowatt an hour. That's not very good. Slower now. Okay, so for these cars, you know, if you have an older, um, older car, um, what do you got to say about this, buddy? It doesn't charge very fast, does it? If you couldn't afford a Tesla, you're not going to the bread lines. I don't know. Maybe uh, a different charger will do it. Uh, we're using an aftermarket charger for this. Maybe the real charger will actually make it go faster. Yeah, and this charger, actually, with this is one of the first videos we did on YouTube, right here. We ended up plugging into the wall right there. Is this charger right here. We did a conversion on this. This used to be a 120 volts, and we converted it to 240. And this was many, many years ago. Yeah, and that could be why it's only charging on one uh, kilowatt. <laughs> <laughs> but it charges a lot faster on the... Um... Yeah, it's saying... 45 a.m. and right now what time is it? Yeah, it's 5:32. So it's saying, oh, that's a lot of hours. I'm trying to do the math in public. That's that's a long time. Okay, so for fun and excitement, I actually happen to have the uh, 120 volt, uh, 120 volt charger that came with the car. Just curious to see what this says. You know what we could do? Charge yours and mine at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's see here. All right, so 120 volts. The light came on. All right, let's see what it says now. Actually, we got to reset this. Okay, so the. That's insane. So the. Uh, dude, the 120 volt charges just as fast as the 240 in this older car. Can you charge both? All right, so now we're charging two cars. We have that one charging two plugs, right? So this is the, the Volt, and uh, that one's a Tesla. Tesla's charging. How fast is the Tesla charging? Okay, so maxed out, it does uh, 14 miles an hour on the Tesla. Still 345. 345? Yeah, so this is still super slow. I don't know if it's the charger or what. May do a little more on the Tesla. Where are you at with the Tesla right now? 18. 18 miles? And here I can do a little more. 18 miles on the Tesla. Okay, 18 miles on the Tesla at maximum. And this one, oh, it just cut off. Yep. Maybe 18 is a little too much. Maybe. But, uh, and we're charging two cars.